Hey, Tom Wiley here, and today is all about seizing the opportunities that come your way. Uh, you can see behind me the wood chip piles that we have for our Back to Eden gardening that we had been preparing for at our current location that we're moving away from now. For now, we just need this stuff moved. We haven't quite closed, our, our place hasn't closed yet, nor has the property, uh, but it's all set to happen this week. Once our place here closes, we have two weeks to get out of here off the property and a month to get out of my shop. So uh, I need access to the stuff back here that I need to move. I have roofing back here and some odds and ends, a big trailer full of stuff that I need to mo mainly just get rid of, this big propane tank. We have these piles of wood chips we need to move and it's pretty labor intensive when you have to do it by hand. We don't have large equipment to do it with. Uh, we had it all just dumped here. Um, so there's an opportunity just came up. So this morning I realized that the neighbor over here has been uh, doing driveway work. I saw that this morning and realized, wait a second, Bobcat, we're trying to move wood chips back here. I wonder if he wouldn't mind a little side work to uh, come over and consolidate some piles back here so I can get to this stuff. I went over and talked with him. He is available and he loves side work like that. Uh, so right now I'm just going to clear some grass away so that he has a place, a nice place to move stuff. Well, it's the next day now, and uh, we kind of on last notice, last minute notice, uh, went to sign the papers to close for our, our the selling of our home uh, this morning. So we did that, and while we were gone, the guy with the bobcat moved all the wood chips for us. Super grateful for God just putting those things together. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to schedule. I didn't have to call. I didn't have to rent equipment. I just had to walk across the street and ask a guy who was already working with his bobcat if he could do a little bit more with his work with his bobcat across the street um, and earn a little side cash. So um, it worked really well and we're super grateful. God's got this all figured out and even in the midst of our wonderings or worryings, we just need to keep trusting him and keep working, keep walking step by step into what he's got planned. Um, uh, both the blessings and the blessings in disguise. Um, we're in the middle of uh, search for a trailer. Uh, I was hoping for a boat trailer to haul our um, 20 foot long sailboat that we have for a playhouse eventually for the kids and us. So here's the, the sailboat right there that needs to be transported. We were hoping, I was hoping to find a boat trailer to haul that over to the property with. Um, had my sights set on one that came up uh, yesterday morning and it all looked great. I was gonna go pick it up and decided, you know, I think I'll, I think we better pray about it and just make sure that God wants us to move on this. And we prayed and God very, very clearly said, no. He said, no, don't get it. Just wait, I've got something better. And I was not being very patient. I, I basically reluctantly said, okay, fine, I'm not, I won't go get it now. <laughs> and, but was still kind of hanging on to it and, and wondering, okay, well, maybe this is a later. I'll just, I'll go later and get it. Um, uh, and we're assuming something else was, was, you know, needed to be taken care of and then I could go get it. Because it seemed like such a, a perfect fit. I may have discovered why today um, as I was looking on Craigslist again kind of seeing if anything new had popped up um, saw a the, the bottom trailer for uh, out of a trailer home um, so it's a 35 foot by 8 foot flatbed trailer basically they just ripped the the top out, walls and see, roof and you know interior out Wal ripped all that off so it's now just a flat deck has uh, checkerboard linoleum on it <laughs> really crummy you know wood but but the the gut you know the bones of it look solid enough and the tires have air in them and it's it's um 
needs a two inch ball, which is what I have and all that stuff. So it all looks really good and they just said make an offer. So um, yeah, so I sent them an email. That's the only contact info they had on there. So I'm waiting to hear back. But like I said, that might be the solution that God was wanting us to wait for. We realized that that could end up being the, the base for the accessory structure we plan to build next to our RV um, to make life easier. It's going to have laundry machines and a spare toilet and freezer, or, you know, full-size fridge, a little chest freezer, um, stuff like that in it, and a pantry area and a mudroom. So it'll make it much more easy to live in the in the fifth wheel with two toddlers and a, a newborn and eventually a dog, Lord willing, and the two of us ad adults. So. Um, it's uh, anyway that structure is going to make life a lot easier. We were kind of scratching our head for how much we were going to have to invest into building that structure. Um, we already have the floor for it, that uh, dance floor we call it now. We were going to put that on some stilts for a floor and build a you know build up a, a structure on top of it. Um, now it looks like we might just be able to slap those down to replace the, the deck on this flatbed trailer build on top of that and have a little mobile structure so anyway that's uh that's what we're thinking so far and and i'm just waiting to hear back and see see what god does but um we just need to keep trusting and waiting um just like this situation of the wood chips that we needed to move kind of just took care of itself so likewise we're seeing what god does with this trailer situation um hope this is encouraging to anybody who's in the middle of trying to figure something out and waiting on God for an answer uh, or a provision or his timing or whatever. This is unbelievable. So it turns out, yes, we are getting that trailer. Um, I call. I finally got a call back. I, I sent another email to this Craigslist person that I hadn't heard back yet from about the flatbed trailer. I hadn't heard a peep. So I finally sent again an email today saying, basically, hey, are you out there? Is the trailer still available? If so, I can look at it any time, give me a call. Um, so he finally called, settled on a, a price of $400. That's exactly within the three to $500, no, two to $500 that um, God had given me peace about. We are getting ready to go pick it up. So I'm getting the truck ready. Sarah is going to follow me home, tailing me with the van, so she will be my lights. Um, so I'm super excited that this is all coming together. Uh, trust God. When he tells you something, trust him. He told us yesterday, it was yes, no, it was the day before yesterday. He told us, be patient. Don't get the boat trailer. Wait, I've got something better for you. So praise God, here we are. He's, he had something better in mind. We're gonna go uh, pick it up now. So I'll uh, finish throwing stuff together and show you more in a little bit. God's blessing, this, the thing that we weren't looking for, uh, but ended up ended up finding because we listened to his voice and obeyed him. Uh, he's very faithful to supply what we need. So let's take a look at it. It looks pretty ugly, and this this whole wood deck is all shot. It's you know you can see it's sat for a long time and it's rotted, and there's old plumbing pipes in it and under this deck should be some insulation and then an underbelly wood that we'll have to pull off. Um, so the plan now is just to rip all of this off and then take our dance floor sections here um, and put those on this. They'll be in a different orientation than there. Um, so they'll be along lengthwise, eight feet wide by 24 feet and then we'll make up the rest with some new materials. Um, we're planning a deck section on part of it, and then um, and then the rest will be uh, 
structure for the washing machine, dryer, and oven, and fridge, and toilet, and all that stuff, it'll be a, a good start to the foundation for that accessory structure that we were planning and hoping not to sink a bunch of money into because it wasn't, it's not our house. We're, we're getting toward our house, but need to make it more livable for a year or more while we build. So this is a huge plus.